everyone, I'm Whitney and this is Come Home for Comfort. Welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas series. And today I have a very special guest with me, my mom. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you, hello. We are back here in her home to have my mom share with you some tips for hostess gifts. Because at the holidays, people have you in their home, you might travel to be with family. I think it's really important to talk about what kind of hostess gifts we can give and when it is appropriate to give hostess gifts. So first of all, mom, can you tell us when you think it's appropriate to bring a hostess gift to someone's home? Well, I think it's always appropriate because anytime someone has you in their home, they are inconveniencing themselves mm -hmm. to invite you in. And so just to, to say thank you and let them know how much you appreciate them going to the effort to invite you in, it's gracious of you just to give them some little something. It doesn't have to be big, but just yeah. a little thank you. Okay, so it doesn't have to be big. You have some ideas here, some samples yeah. of things that you have on hand to give us those gifts, so. Yes. One little thing to do is if you've been doing some holiday baking, or any kind of baking all through yeah. the year, just find a little jar, this one, cute little red lid, and put it inside of a jar, little twine or some kind of ribbon around it, add a little tag to it, and just say, this is something for your family to enjoy after we're gone. So let them know that this isn't a part of the meal that they've mm -hmm. prepared, but this is something for you to enjoy later on. So this costs you just pennies, really, to be able to yeah. put together. So that's one little idea. And who doesn't love cookies? I any know. Time of year? And it's from your kitchen. It's something that's personal, mm -hmm. you know, that you have thought to to bring to them. So I always think that's a, a fun thing to be able to share. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, something else? All right. So another little thing that you could use to be able to incorporate maybe two things as if something that you've baked, like maybe a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. um, take that bread and wrap it up in a pretty kitchen towel. These came together as a, a set. You could use one, um, you know, to make two different gifts out of this yeah. for two different people, but use one to just wrap around the bread and then tie it with a pretty ribbon. You could also give this together like this, just wrap this with a, a mm -hmm. pretty ribbon around it and give both of them as a little gift as well. Like so you had a thought one time about something about giving and yes yeah I heard somebody say when you give a hostess gift to give something to eat and something to keep so like the bread yeah. would be what you'd eat and then you could keep the towel as part of the other other part of the gift that's a great tip so even sticking underneath like five dollar gift or mm -hmm. right at five dollars who doesn't love a box of chocolates Yum. yes and right now these are on sale and a lot of stores carry them buy one get one free and that's the case with this box. I got this at Kroger and it was yeah. buy one, get one free. So you give one, you keep one, right? <laughs> that was a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this ended up being just a little over $5. And this came with the packaging that's it's already pretty. wrapped. Yeah. So you just pull off the outside little tag there and you could even add a ribbon and leave this for your hostess. Super simple. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Okay. Also, um, I think it's fun to be able to give things that are personalized. So if you're going to stay overnight with somebody that you know well or mm -hmm. that you um, are going to have dinner even, you could give something that's, that's personalized. So Maybe. why don't you open this one up, Whitney? Just for me? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you know. Thanks I, for letting me be on your YouTube channel. I was channel. Say, I should invite <laughs> you to be on videos more often. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a Christmas ornament. It's wooden. And it has a picture of my husband and me. And this is from a picture from when you guys were at our house this yeah, spring. this summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so sweet. Is there, there's more in here. I feel like it, there's still some things in it. Another ornament. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the little, little kitties. That's we my, couldn't leave them out. My Peggy McMillan. Look, at she looks so pretty in black and white. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I love that pose of her. The so I love her profile. She's so pretty. So wow. I just took those wooden ornaments and had black and white photos made and then modge podge them to wow the wood and that very inexpensive so another little tip i have is keep things on hand mm -hmm. if somebody invites you over and you have to make a mad dash like on your way there yes. to try to find something or you feel rushed or whatever to go pick up something that's not always the best way to buy a gift so i have a box that i keep little things that I find on sale. Mm -hmm. And so I can go in there and pull something out when I've been invited to someone's home. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of some things that you could bundle together. And all of these things were purchased separately and were in my box and I thought this would make a great gift to bundle all together. So 
Here were some holiday napkins that I got after Christmas last year, half off, so they were about 70 cents. Wow. And then I love these plates. Them too. Yeah, Whitney keeps, I think she wants these. <laughs> You're gonna have to have me over so I, I, I can bring them okay. to you. But one says love and the other one says joy. But cute little um, Christmas colors. Mm -hmm. And even though there's only two, you might think, you know, well, they're family of four. They can use these for serving dishes mm -hmm. or just to set out for little cookies or whatever. And so then I found this, but look at how cute that is with these. And this could be put inside of a bread basket that, mm -hmm. for your hostess. Um, she could use it as a liner or, you know, just underneath as a placemat, mm -hmm. what have you. But all of these things together. Really nice. Just a nice little gift. And literally under $10, it might even be more like six or seven. Wow. But because I got them ahead of time and mm -hmm. had them stuck away, and it's just waiting for somebody to be able to invite me over <laughs> so that they can Indeed. have a gift. And you know what, one more idea. Sometimes people bring flowers for oh, a hostess yeah. gift. And flowers, I mean, who doesn't like getting mm -hmm. flowers? Well, maybe the hostess, when she's getting ready to put dinner mm -hmm. on the table and you come walking in with this nice little bouquet, and the long stems and you can't just and they're like dripping on the floor yeah <laughs> you gotta do something with yeah. it so if you are going to bring flowers make sure that you take them out of the tissue paper put them mm. into a container and then bring them ready yeah. to set on the table for your hostess that's a good idea very yeah. considerate so we got some great ideas so if someone has invited you to a party or to their home or you're going to family's home for christmas for the holidays here are some really great ideas of hostess gifts that you can give that will show your hosts or hostess how grateful you are mm -hmm. for them inviting you into their home. So thank you very much for being mm -hmm. on my video. Let's see. Thank you for inviting me here. <laughs> well, you already gave me the ornament. So oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. That's right. Shoo. You're good Glad to I go. thought ahead of that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And I will link to my mom's YouTube channel here mm -hmm. and in the description box. She has a really great channel, so be sure to check that out if you haven't Thanks. already. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone.